Toby brought Henrietta to the top station. Percy was grumpily shunting. Hello, Percy. I see Daisy's left the milk again. I'll have to make a special journey with it, I suppose. Anyone would think I'd nothing to do. Tell you what, I'll take the milk. You fetch my trucks. Their drivers and the station master agreed. Soon, both engines set off. They thought it would be a nice change. Percy trundled away to the quarry. He'd never been there before. It's steep, but I can manage. Trucks don't dare to play tricks on me now. He marshaled them in a lordly way. Hurry along there. Needless to say, the trucks were annoyed. This is Toby's place. Percy's got no right to poke his funnel up here and push us around. The trucks began to whisper and pass the word. Pay Percy out. 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 The trucks were soon arranged. Come along. No nonsense. We'll give them nonsense. <laughs> but they followed so quietly that Percy thought they were completely under control. They rumbled down the twisty line till they saw a notice saying, All trains stop to pin down brakes. Brakes guard, please! But before he could check them, the truck surged forward. <laughs> The man on duty at the crossing rushed to warn traffic with his flag, but was too late to switch Percy to the runaway side. Frantically trying to grip the rails, he slid past the sheds and straight into the yard. was in smithereens. Percy, still whistling fit to burst, was perched on a couple of trucks. His driver and fireman had jumped clear. The fat controller arrived the very next day. We must now try to run the branch line with Toby and the diesel. You have put us in an awkward predicament. I'm sorry, sir. You can stay there till we are ready. Perhaps it will teach you to be careful with trucks. Percy sighed. The trucks wobbled beneath his wheels. He quite understood about awkward predicaments. The fat controller spoke severely to Daisy as well. My engines do not tell lies. They work hard with no shirking. I send lazy engines away. Daisy was ashamed. However, Toby says you worked hard yesterday after Percy's accident. So you shall have another chat. Thank you, sir. I will work hard, sir. Toby says he'll help me. Excellent. What Toby doesn't know about branch line problems, such as, uh, bulls, isn't worth knowing. Ah, Toby is an experienced engine. Thomas came back the next day. But Percy was sent to be mended. 
Annie and Clarabelle were delighted to see Tom's again. He took them for a run at once because they hadn't been out while he was away. Thomas, Toby, and Daisy are now all friends. Daisy often takes the milk for Thomas, and when Toby is busy, she takes Henrietta. Toby has taught Daisy a great deal since Percy's accident. She even shoot a bull out the line all by herself the other day. That shows you, doesn't it? <laughs>